Hello everyone, welcome back to some of Play Stay Aspire. Daily, very early today. Not even two hours in. If it is ever loading, we, we will see. There you go. And there you go. Very early, low scores considering it's a sealed deck. Ah, oh, well, I see we have certain future. Sealed deck on the defect, that's interesting. So we get our cards and we have to select 10 of these. What is the plan? Any cards that stand out to me where you can build a deck around? Not really, to be honest. We have quite a few strong cards. I guess two claws is technically buildable. Question is if we want that. Like there's also Cold Snap, Cool Headed. We have White Noise, which is a good card. There's a second Cold Snap. Don't think Aggregate is going to work. Recycle can reduce the size. We have two rebounds for our claws. Technically, we can do something with that. The other thing we could do is Storm and go for a power deck, but Storm is the only power we got right here. Like, if I go for claws, I have to do these, I have to do these. That's four attacks. Leap is a good defense. Stacks are decent defenses. If we want claw, we want card draw. Actually, Hologram also brings back a claw. Cool headed. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So three more. We take white noise because that's a good card. And then force field is pretty bad. The stacks? I'm not sure about that. Thing is, well, so far we have a single block. Hologram is also a tiny bit of block. And then we could take stack. Stack can be strong later on. It's pretty bad early on. Compile drivers card draw actually. Or we take cold snaps to get block of the orbs. We can take beam cells to make it easier, but I don't think that's worth it. This is more draw, but it has burns in our deck, and we can't defend against the burns, I think. So we'll probably do I take stack and then two cold snaps, or do I take two stacks and a cold? Oh. I don't want to confirm this. I want another call snap in here. Oh, it's, it's still fine. Hopefully. This is a fine start. I rebound claw and hologram back the claw. That is a lot of damage. I'm taking another leap, even though card draw is great in a deck like this. What do we have here? Rebound Claw. Hit him with the leap. Claw, Rebound, Claw, Hologram, Claw. If we get a few more Claws in this deck, this is gonna be great. Do I want Boot Sequence or do I want Auto Shields? Let's take boot sequence, though maybe auto shields is better. Crap! We don't have enough here. That would have been great. Now, a third stack is probably worth it. Something that draws cards. We don't have any here. Let's get this power potion. Oh, the Yolfa one would have been so great. Remove transform, upgrade. That increases the scaling, now it increases the base damage. Upgrading the hologram is worth it. I could transform something. I don't know if I want to. So we're upgrading the hologram. Cool headed is also a good upgrade. Yeah, I'm taking this. Upgrading again. Cool headed this time. Four extra card draw. Oh, this is not going to be good. I guess this is actually quite nice. Claw and then we can play a leap stack to block. Keep the boot sequence in the deck. I Maybe this is a fight for the power potion. 18 block. We have 5 block here. We can go... I guess stack is also really nice. Yeah, you know what? We can probably afford to do it like this. Stack is 9 block. Actually, we can't afford to do it like this. 
Hologram stack is less. Oh no, never mind. That's nine block, and then... There you go. Block in everything. Okay, this stack is starting to be real juicy. Now, loop isn't amazing, but it might help. There's a claw. And there goes the perfect, because we drew too many dazes. A single le uh, like leap or other block would have been enough. Four block or a creative AI. This is sad. We got him now. Electrodynamics in an AV fed like this, beautiful. What can we get here? Like we do 9 damage here, we do this damage here. We pass the turn and they die too. Our lightning orbs. Blood vial is nice. I'm not sure about rainbow to be honest. But I'm taking it. Hmm. Let's make white noise free. Or make rainbow not exhaust. Both are valid options I think. Dreamcatcher is fine. This is sad. We got the block, we hit both of them. <laughs> Doing this again. Exactly the same turn. There's the fourth stack. So we have 25 points in our deck already. That's pretty good. And then we play Storm, Rainbow. Oh goodness. I probably wanna... If I do this, there's a chance lightning hits here. Because I'm playing this, we have 12 block. Oh, lucky me. We're still taking damage, but only one. And this is actually... Very much exactly what we want. Hologram still in hand. Claw. Let's play cool headed. Claw. Hologram. Claw. No reason to play something else here. We had a lot of stack. Now. We only have rainbow and cool headed for channeling. It's not great. Normally I'd say we want nothing here. Let's take one beam cell. That's our next card to upgrade. I could go for the rebound hologram part again. Yeah, you know what. Fine by me. That's a decent start and we still have our hologram for this claw. That's certainly gonna come here. We need, we need to get a cut. Is this really lagging in the recording as well? But yeah, what I'm saying, we need to get a cut at every time for our stacks to be, to start being useful. Ah, oh, we got both of them with that rainbow. Turbo Steam Barrier, Cold Snap. I like Steam Barrier, honestly. But let's take Cold Snap instead. Strength Potion over Poison Potion. Give me something good. It's a shop. And it's an awful one. Now, this is not the only good thing here. There's also Defrag. This one is good. I think I prefer Defrag over the rest. I can take Defrag and Jack of All Trades. Charge battery is nice, but let's take the jack of all trades. This is good. Now we have quite a few cards I want to upgrade.
Look at that. We actually played all five cards in our starting hand. That's amazing. Holy crap, the lag. That's just sad. I guess we're taking three here. I want more claws as well. Damn it! Why is... This is... ridiculous. I just closed everything else in the background. Fifth stack is too much. Second cold snap. Maybe, no, I want the Steam Barrier now. We have an all for one. Question is, what do I upgrade now? And I should have taken more damage there. Again, I didn't realize we're fighting against. So, a second tier is good. This one, not exhausting, is useful now with the defrag, but I gotta upgrade the defrag first. Let's see what we get. Give me a power. Probably electro. Actually, electrodynamics isn't that great. Maybe Storm instead. Or Capacitor. Capacitor might work. Takes a while until we have everything checked. Let's take Storm. There's the big attack. Put a skill. Can we somehow block this? I have to take cool headed here and draw into something useful. Seven block, six, seven, and five block. We can weaken. That's still gonna be three times six at least. Probably four times six. And there's no way we can get to four times six. I mean, this one. Rainbow is actually a lot more block. We have at 14, 19 block. Three times six would be enough? Is this three or four times? It's three times six. It's actually enough. Glorious. Okay. The three focus on our frost orbs is amazing. Wait. That's gotta be the right way to do it. I don't have to block anything else. We have a lot of damage dealt as well. No, all for one. What are you doing to me? I have the hologram still though. And that was my Dark Orb that I channeled. Okay, we got there. That was beautiful. Second rainbow, fission. Fission for some card draw. I don't think we need two rainbows. I think, on the other hand, maybe it's worth it to just go rainbow into rainbow. I probably have to upgrade the rainbow so it doesn't exhaust, take the fission. We have too many cards I need to upgrade. Philosopher's Stone, only given one strength three enemies. It's better than before, it's still kind of scary. Question is, do we need the fourth energy? So far, probably not. So we keep the take the tiny house instead. Fourth energy can be really, really good though. Hmm. Thing is, we have like quite a few free cards so far. Honestly, upgrade something I want upgrade. This is not something I want upgraded. Fusion could also be the energy. So we have quite a few cards I need to upgrade. I need to upgrade Rainbow so it doesn't exhaust. That's a huge upgrade for us. I need to upgrade Fusion and Cool Headed. Jack of All Trades gets twice as good. Those are primary upgrades. This might take a while. Taking damage again. Uh, 
Okay, go down to one. Uh, like, no, the damage goes to one. Kill you. Draw something. Turbo. Rebound. Cool headed. Claw. And we don't quite kill it. And there it is. I don't want any of these, honestly. Overclock works. Uh, another claw. And then I would like to upgrade, I can't. Do I take another steam barrier, another capacitor, just pass? You know what, let's take the power potion and then go. How many upgrades do we have? One, two, three upgrades. That's, that's a good start, I'd say. Keep the boot sequence. One curse only is not great for our curse modifier chances. Vision is probably too much, but let's draw the cards. Let's see, dramatic entrance. I'm gonna rebound the hologram. Hit him with a cold snap and then get a few blocks in. Not a good start for us. I can no, I don't want to take one. Could have taken one and played the claw again. That's a good turn. The damage scaling of multiple claws you can reuse is beautiful. And the focus portion is certainly better than the strength portion. Even if our deck does quite a bit of a text. Ah! Okay! Let's see here. Not happy about where this lead leads us. We've taken so much damage. Okay, but Panache is nice. No zero cost cards for this one, so I probably take the rainbow. And then just attack here. We're taking one damage right now. Yeah, okay. Taking one damage is fine. We're netcast, hopefully no claws. This is decidedly too many claws for my taste. But we have enough block. Actually, we have enough block, like, almost have enough block. Okay, I'm playing this and then only one transmutation, I guess. All three claws in hand is sad. Beam cell, hologram, give me the all for one, and then let's see. And we get you. Of course, we're fighting the double gremlin knobs. Give me a power. What do we have? Bice cognition? Yeah. Yeah. So we focus this one first. This might be too much, but I'm gonna go there. I don't want to take damage on, and two gremlin knobs is a scary fight. I want to make sure I do justice. All for one. Actually, all for one might be able to get us a kill. Though these two will give us a lot of block. And channel 18 damage here, plus 13 damage there, that's not enough. We get a lot of block. Okay. 12 and 18 is not quite enough. Do I want the jack of all trades? No. So we take in 6. That's fine. Because now we have enough. Let's see. Beam cell, claw, claw, beam cell. I already have enough block, so we might as well play this. Okay, never mind. Still have more than enough block. Fight is over. Would have been sad if we didn't get there. We had a lot of potions invested here. 
charge battery is a good one. I'm not sure if this was good enough. Another efficient finesse I want. I want the parasite as well. Come on. Do I want zap? I don't think so, honestly. There's the parasite, damn it. There was quite a few cards I really liked here. Now, fission is our first upgrade. Evoking the orbs instead of... Oh, rainbow is our next upgrade. So we can continually cycle through the rainbow. Okay. Claw, claw. All for one. Claw, claw. Do this. Get another claw. Oh, we're drawing a card. And now I don't even have to use boot sequence or the steam barrier. That's a lot of block. And... Can we get something? No. That's fine now. I actually don't... Oof. Oof. Do we want to do this? Like, so far we are doing the claw route and... No, I, I want the frost orbs as defense. I don't think storm is useful here. I want to upgrade the cool-headed... The rainbow, the jack of all trades. Let's upgrade the rainbow first. I wanted to do this the whole time. That's the source of orbs. War paint is great. Cool headed upgraded. I like it. Stack is three block. I'm I'm always happy with that. But the cool headed upgrade. That one is. Okay. Fourteen block. Damn it, we're taking damage again. Now listen, we play this, we play fission. We play overclock. That's a surprise. Put all for one back on top. Don't draw it. With overclock. Just wait it out. Where's my claws, please? There's my claws. Found it. Damn the hologram. Hey, yeah, let's do this. Claw, beam cell. Hologram is still not going to be good enough, but I can get another claw in here and play charge battery. Let's see. Rebound claw. There you go. Yeah, I'm taking another white noise. I would like to upgrade that as well. So many upgrades needed for this to work. Rebound all for one? We'll only block 10. That's bad. So I guess we cannot rebound the all for one, sadly. As much as I like to. And maybe upgrade uh, attacking the fungi bees is not great with this one. Ooh. That's maximum juiciness. Do we have an awful one, right? Yes. So let's bring that back and then. There you go. Core search is too good. Also, for genetic algorithm, I think it might be too late. I like taking it very early on. Oh, discovery. Oh, glacier. But maybe doom and gloom is actually better. Honestly, it probably is. Okay. Our claws are already quite nice. Let's see, we're starting with this. Hit you here. Hit you here. Hit you here. We're drawing another card. 
And then we take in all the block. Stacks are quite nice by now. With a deck as thick as this one. Okay, let's draw cards first. I guess we're just playing Rainbow, is that? No, it's not worth it. Just playing Rainbow will take it, leave us damaged. So will everything. I guess the stack is. So Cold Snap stack is actually the way we play it without taking any damage. And there's an all for one and a claw. So I can play Defrag and then it's emptied the hand a bit. And there's a fission. I want the other stack, but how many leaps do we have? Two. So this is the third leap. If we get the fourth one, that's more bonus points for us. And this is not great at all. This is the actual opposite of great. Maybe we should have taken that dexterity potion here because we are getting pummeled. It's 18 damage taken. Okay, defrag is kind of nice. Any attack? Let's take the cold snap. And then... 14. Yeah, we gotta play it like this. We will get all the debuffs. Okay. Beam cell fission. Defrag, cool headed, jack of all trades. Play this. Hit you with an all for one. That gets the kill. I'm drawing another card. We need more damage, uh, more block. That's enough block. And then, oh, apotheosis. Still enough block. We got it. Fight is, fight is won by us. Turned the corner. actually not enough almost hilarious there you go rainbow doing the job I can even do it again but I don't need to because our claws are surprisingly powerful this could be a third beam cell I don't think we want that now reprogram we can actually use, I think. These fight these guys again. Stop. Get some help. That's a bit too early for my taste. But now I don't have to use the rest. Like I would have liked to get the artifact before this. There's the core surge. Claw, core surge, defrag, steam battery. Taken four. Damn. The attack of the mystic. And then we get a lot of block and I have buffer. So that's all the damage we're taking. Do I have all for one in my grave? No. Fifteen block though. Now it's only gonna be twelve, but I hope we get there's an awful one. You know what? Put these away. Then I'm playing this and then hit you with an awful one to get Ah oh, Gremlin Horn <laughs> oh. Have you ever felt this much sadness. Monumental sadness there. I emptied the hand beforehand so it could go beautiful and then it didn't. 
Recursion could be the glue that sticks my both of my archetypes together, so... Okay. What do we smith here? Finally time for the jack of all trades? I mean, white noise could also work, but yeah. Give me two colorless cards. Let's see here. Bronze Automaton. Honestly, this is kind of sad. Transmutation could work. 14. This is 9, 10, 11, 14. So you know what? Honestly, I like this. I don't want... Actually, it shuffles my discard pile back in. Actually, Master of Strategy could have worked. We saw the top cards. Give me that all for one. I need to kill that all. And there's my fission. No! That's... Okay, I'm getting the Master of Strategy. <sighs> I don't want to use the bias cognition yet. It's the problem. We, this fight will take a lot longer and I want to wait with this until we get the artifact. Okay. Defrag for sure. 10 block. Like, let's draw some more. There we go. That's 18 block. Got a beam cell here. 19 block and 12. We need 19 and 9. That is good enough. It is not fast enough though. Like the speed at which we are killing these. There's finally the core surge. Actually getting... This is not fission in here, right? There's all for one in there. I have all the block I want. Kill this one next turn, maybe. Oh, the artifact is immediately negated. That's very annoying. He does his big attack. Stack only dealing 8. How much block do we have? We need to block for 60. I have 20 block right here. I have... Charge battery, leap, that's 19, that's 40 block, that's 50 block, that's 56 block, then the claw kills here. Should be good enough, right? I mean, all for one is not helping, but 10, 9, 9, wait, this is 20. 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay. Shuffle them back in. I don't need the boot sequence. We blocked the hyper beam. Now Stone Calendar is actually going to trigger at the end of this turn. So we just play this. I guess hit you with an all for one. I would have liked the recursion right here. There's the stone calendar. Oh, fission gets discarded. Unfortunate again. Ooh. That's... We have block in here, right? Yeah, there's a boot sequence in there. And boot sequence alone is good enough. Beam cell. Recursion the 50 damage. Oh, beautiful. That's another 50 damage right there. All for one is back. So we play Claw. Boot sequence. Rebound the all for one again. Beam cell. Claw. Recursion doesn't work anymore. There you go. And then we recurse this one. Rebound deep breath. Uh, 
Got him. Yes. All of my core search, yes. Snack why? Oh no. No, 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 no. Not snack why. And not choker, so we're taking the feather. Not a good one to get for us. We don't have a lot of AoE, so Donu and Dekka is going to be a hard fight as well. Okay, how much damage do we, are we taking? I got 10. Nineteen block, twenty-one block, good enough. Great. I'm not even sarcastic. That's beautiful. We had the that's just four focus for free basically. Without the drawback. Beam cell and claw on the all for one. I guess we have five cards, so we might as well flame all. And I should have played with the start with the all for one. That's one attack I didn't get the vulnerability of the beam cell. Claw. Reprogram. Probably get rid of these two. Cool that it draws the other two. Hologram brings back all for one. Get him with a good all for one. We do have enough block, I don't need that. Actually, should have probably taken the fission still. So should have certainly taken the fission still. One? Oh come on. You gotta be kidding me. I needed any any damage. Thankfully we still get him. I take charge battery over recursion. Hell no. There gotta be a shop, right? There is a shop. Okay. It's just before the boss fight. Maybe that's the Hail Mary shop where you try to get something useful in the end. Dodecahedron is really good to us right now. Gimme card draw. Hitting you like this, there's the boot sequence. We have all the blocks and no attacks right now. 10. This is. We got rid of the hologram and the all for one. Sadistic nature is also not gonna be very good. Good at all. 15 block. Beam cell claw. Charge battery. Take here, we drawn another one. We've drawn some more. I guess this is fine. Also the curses are not working at all. Only one curse, so we will not get the curse modifier, I guess. Another charge battery. That's the third one. If we get a fourth one, this is going to be worth it. I don't quite like the doubt. The rest I'll keep. Then we do beam cell, rebound, core surge. Block some, but not all damage. And runic dodecahedron. Oh, goodbye, my friend. That's a very bad fission. Oh my god. 
speaking of very bad visions, that's just cruel. I mean, it wasn't efficient, but the, that draw was evil. Ah. I can hologram the offer. No, you know what? I'm gonna hologram the deep breath. Get out of here. Okay. How do we have enough block? No. So I'm taking this. This is taking a while. Stone calendar might actually be used here. Are we gonna kill him? There you go, drawn a card. Oh, this is pretty nice. Fine. That's round five. Should have reprogrammed first to see what we're drawing. Now we just have to pass and Stone Calendar will do it for us. But we also. That's not the claw. There you go. There's the claw finally. Another Defrag? Hell yeah. Defrag is. That's two more curses, that would be up to three. And then there's a chance to get four or five there, but that's not happening. Also normalities. Upgrade all cards. We will not be able to use runic dodecahedron, but I'm gonna do it. There's just so many cards upgraded. Hilarious that this actually really doesn't do anything for us. Any damage we take sticks, so I plan on not taking any damage, I guess. We're gonna get attacked for a lot here, yeah. So 50 doesn't kill you. So this also doesn't kill you. I have to go two attacks to kill you there. Drawn a card. That's a claw. That's good enough to kill you. Cool had to draw something, reprogram. What can I do? Cool header to draw into two cards and get those two. One of them is a beam cell. That's amazing because now I can use this and this. And then I play Storm, Bice, Cognition, Call, Snap, Stack. And we navigated through this. I only had to use a potion. Deck blocking for 30 right now. This is the part where we are strong as hell. I just wanted to get an attack in here. Finish it with an all for one. Beautiful. Potion belt is not great. Still the third beam cell only, not the fourth one. And Meteor Strike, we will probably not get to the energy. Technically possible with charge batteries if I play all three of them. Then the next turn, or two of them, then the next turn I can Meteor Strike. Let's take Equilibrium instead. Do we have something for resting? We have Dreamcatcher, right? Okay, let's Dreamcatcher. Is this the fourth cool headed? One, two, it's the third cool headed. It's worth it for sure, but 
I wish it were the fourth one. Let's see, Jack of all trades, sadistic nature. Two charge batteries instead of a hand of green. 20 damage is probably not worth it. Yeah, we. I feel like two energies. Better than the 20 damage. We're getting hit for a lot here. And we have enough block. I feel like we have quite a bit of block. That's pretty nice. And we should get a kill here. Oh, right. There you go. I didn't have the... Hmm. Heat sinks. I'm not entirely sure heat sinks is a good thing for us. Should have probably taken cards whenever we can instead of skipping so we can get up to 50 cards. Get at least some bonus points for that. No other card draw, so I'm playing this. Defrag, jack of all trades. Probably play this. And then... Oh, resting loses max HP. I was wondering, how, why are we almost full life? Okay, claw, claw, beam cell. I guess one of the stacks can go as well. We play cool-headed, recursion, all for one. And then we do beam cell, claw, claw, beam cell, this. And there you go. We will get hologram into all for one again. I just ruined it. Oh, this is actually very unfortunate, thankfully. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I am ashamed. And that makes a huge difference because we can't heal. I this is scary already. We can't heal, so the bomb isn't too bad. It costs two, so it's not too good either. It just is. Blocking exactsies. Wait, we're drawing a card first. Okay. Hollow ram back the claw. We get an energy back here. Ten. I don't want the equilibrium. Okay, that's a good start. Okay, give me all this zero. There's no zero cost card here. Fine. No, all for one is free. I don't want that. We've been attacked for 20. We don't have block in here. And I know overclock will not find anything. Still probably kill this one. Good enough. Is there a chance? 
No, there was no chance. I knew it actually. Maybe there was a chance if we played the card better. This is the fourth leap, right? One, two, three, fourth leap. That's some bonus points. Now. White noise free. Jack of all trades, an additional card. Let's make white noise free first. Let's see what we got here. Focus is great. Second hologram is great. I actually feel like the bomb might be fine. So is Dark Shackles. Do we have enough? Yeah, that's worth it. That's good. 40 damage to all. I probably want this. Take Dark Shackles. We don't have... I mean, Dark Shackles is fine. I don't like Reboot. 46. We can't get up to 50 cards in our deck, sadly. Like, that's... 47, 48, 49. We don't have enough energy. Ah, oh, we don't have enough gold. I mean, instead of energy. If I bought this a bit smarter, I guess instead of the egg, we could have gotten up to 50 cards in our deck. And then... Yeah, but we can't. We don't have restocks. I mean, Sweeping Beam is still nice. Capacitor is actually still nice. And I can get this skill because we can't buy Bullseye and something else. So we had 48. Oh no, we could have gone to 50 because if I rest, we could have gotten another card. Oh, it's my bad again. That's really not good at all. Fourth Cool Headed? Did we actually do it? One, two, and the third one was up there. Three, yeah. Four cool headed. 25 points here for resting. I th we did the right decision. So, permanent boost, permanent boost. Get the artifact going. Let's see, white noise, white noise. I'm happy with both of these. Let's draw first though. Okay. Hello world buffer. Let's see. Do we have enough block? Yeah, we have more than enough block. I don't even have to use boot sequence. Dark shackles. Keep this for later. Let's see. Draw some cards. 14 block. That is 17 block. And I guess the block portion is good enough. A play call search. We have to attack at some point, but maybe. Ooh. Let's see. What can we do? Put a skill in my hand. Probably reprogram or white noise. Let's go reprogram. See what we draw next turn. Don't want this. Don't want this. Keep the rest. Okay. I have 12 block. That is three times, uh, 2 times 14. 13. That's good enough. And then capacitor rainbow. Charge battery rainbow instead of capacitor. Capacitor rainbow is a nice start. But let's take charge battery rainbow. I want the dark orb to start stacking up. Let's see. Um, probably still rebounding. Yeah, this is enough blocking by itself. Rebounding the claw. And then drawing it again. I can hologram the claw again. Because a stack is... The, yeah, let's get... Me, give, me, give me another claw. Up to 15 damage per claw. There you go. Bomb is 30 damage to all. It's not bad. Defrag is better. Okay, we have 10 block. These two are good enough. Problem is one of them is not. So I can't play bomb and then something else. Though bomb is... If I play bomb and this one, that's 20 block. 
That's 32 block and he's attacking exactly for 32. That's honestly quite greedy. But maybe we have to do a play like this. Maybe we don't. I, mean, so I have more than enough cards here. So let's play stack for defense and then hit him with a big all for one. Let's see. That's not a good lineup of cards. In all honesty, it's rather poor. There's a hologram though. And there's a stack, so I think we like it. Dark Shackles can be good. Thing is, let's purity and get this out of here. This is the last turn where our stack is doing wonders for us. Okay, let's do this. Turbo, Jack of all trades. Jack of all trades. Three random attacks, puts an attack in my deck. There's a Meteor Strike there. Now I hologram the all for one. This is the turn. Where we get made into legend. This is what legends are made of. It's beautiful. Overclock to draw three cards? Sure. Hit me up with this card draw. I don't want this. Shackles is probably too much. Oh, but no. Honestly, that claw is too late. I don't like the capacitor. I have to be a bit careful about I have some block left because he's attacking now. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I can get one here, the other one is not possible, but we will get enough block. Hologram to get overclock, recursion, another claw. Like let's start with defrag. This one. Now hologram probably the overclock to be honest. There's the other hologram. Let's get this. Stack is good enough. So I hologram into reprogram. See what we're gonna draw. Bomb is not great. Keep the boot sequence. Actually, yeah, keep the rainbow as well. Now I'm gonna draw a rainbow if I play this though. It's not what I want to do. Yeah, there's the rainbow. That's unfortunate. Ooh, stone calendar. We're gonna get him now though. Oh yeah, we are. Oh, we so are getting him now. Look at that! It's a beauty. It's only 49 cards though, because I miscalculated. We could have had another 25 points for the cards. And then we only had three collectors as well. Beyond Perfect is nice. Only one champion, but we only had three elites, so it's fine. Combo worked out. We just got enough money. I'm happy about that. And there we go, Librarian. 25 instead of 50. That should have been 50. At least the speeds there was close as well. Could have gone both ways. I think we have front page, but remember it's only two and a half hours in. Three and a half hours in, actually. We are top ten. Yet or still. Look at look at this. If this is something that can be get at least there's gonna be at least nine other players who get that score, right? If that's legit. If not, as you can see, there's still a few people in the 1100s and we only at 1050, so we're gonna get beat. This, by the way, is...
people who had an additional card. As you can see, there's someone else with the same score as I had, and these three have exactly 25 points more. That's literally buying that one card at the shop or taking one card somewhere else, and we could have been sit more secure there. That's wasted potential. Gotta learn from that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, though. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.